Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Emma Swenson, and I'm the co-president of Four Troops here at Hereford High School. Today, we are gathered to honor and remember the brave men and women who have served our country and given the ultimate sacrifice to protect our rights and freedoms. We are lucky to have many veterans to be honored in our community for the service they have done for our country. I would also like to recognize all Gold Star families, especially the Anderson and Snyder families who are with us today. Now I would like to introduce Principal Gyro to say a few words. Thanks for that introduction. The For Our Troops Club, sponsored by Ms. Kathy Aiken and Mr. Rob Greenwood, is a strong student organization that does so much to bring attention to honor the veterans and active military members. From attending honor flights at BWI to helping escort senior vets making their way to the memorials in DC, to laying wreaths in December at the Delaney Memorial Gardens, the club is extremely active. Today, the annual Memorial Day flag ceremony is perhaps my favorite because it brings recognition to all of our heroes, our military along with our first responders, and it creates a moment in this upcoming weekend to remind us that Memorial Day is more than a weekend at the beach because of the holiday. Instead, it is a time to pay tribute and honor to those who contributed to the freedom we enjoy today. So although this looks a little different than times in the past, thanks to the For Our Troops Club members for putting this tribute together and honoring our heroes this weekend. Also, today we highlight Maryland's 9-11 Rolling Memorial presented by the Hope and Peace Foundation and is dedicated to the 69 Marylanders killed on 9-11 and the 144 others from across the state who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the war on terror since that horrific day. The memorial is an everlasting tribute to teach, teach loss, sacrifice, and patriotism. Now we will read the poem, Maryland's Wings of Love. Freedom is our birthright. Peace is our passion. These two ideals, so treasured by this nation, hang in a delicate balance. More of one demands less of the other. To hold that balance, it requires one person. A soldier, a sailor, a marine, an airman, a coast guardsman. They are our sons and our daughters, our wives and our husbands, our best and our brightest. They are sworn by God to protect and defend this most cherished nation of ours. They will stand lonely vigil in foreign lands. They will walk in harm's way. They will stare down any threat. They will conquer any foe. This is their duty, which they hold sacred and for which they will give their own lives. For centuries, white doves have represented the Holy Spirit, love, peace, and the soul. Today, as we gather to celebrate the precious life sacrificed, we will be releasing snow white doves symbolizing a flock of angels. In this flock, there is also a pure black dove symbolizing the missing in action warriors. As life moves forward, may we always honor and remember our military and fallen heroes. And in so doing, may we embrace the future. A future that has been provided to this great nation by outstanding men and women serving and sacrificing in the military. To all of them, we give our deepest thanks. May God bless America. Now we will have the presentation of colors and raising the flags with the Hereford High School Choir singing the national anthem. So I ask you all to please rise. Forward, march.
Please welcome Sarah and Katie who will be reading the poem, It's the Soldier. It's the Soldier. It is the soldier, not the minister, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom to protest. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the soldier, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. It is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves beneath the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag, who allows the protester to burn the flag. Thank you, Sarah and Katie. Please welcome Bella and Kelly, who will be reading the names of the fallen alumni from Hereford High School. Vietnam War. Private Stefan Selinski, U.S. Marine Corps, fallen in action July 8, 1965. Private Robert Walters, U.S. Army, fallen in action September 24, 1966. Sergeant Kenneth Grove, U.S. Army, fallen in action December 15, 1966. Private John Dudley, U.S. Marine Corps. Fallen in action July 29, 1967. Sergeant Joseph Kelly, U.S. Army. Fallen in action February 1, 1969. Operation Iraqi Freedom. Lance Corporal Norman Anderson III, U.S. Marine Corps. Purple Heart. Bronze Star of Valor. Fallen in action October 29, 2005. Corporal Joshua David Snyder. U.S. Marine Corps, Purple Heart, Fallen in Action, November 30th, 2005. Thank you, Bella and Kelly. Please welcome Sarah and Jillian, who will be reading the poem, The Final Inspection. The Final Inspection. The soldier stood and faced God, which must always come to pass. He hoped his shoes were shining just as brightly as his brass. Step forward now, soldier. How shall I deal with you? Have you always turned the other cheek? To my church, have you been true? The soldier squared his shoulders and said, No, Lord, I guess I have not. Because those of us who carry guns can't always be a saint. I've had to work most Sundays, and at times my talk was tough, and sometimes I've been violent because the world is awfully rough. But I never took a penny that wasn't mine to keep, though I worked a lot of overtime when the bills just got too steep. And I never passed to cry for help, though at times I shook with fear. And sometimes, God forgive me, I've wept unmanly tears. I know I don't deserve a place among the people here. They never wanted me around except to calm their fears. If you've a place for me here, Lord, I needn't be so grand. I never expected or had too much, but if you don't, I'll understand. There was a silence all around the throne where the saints had often trod, as the soldier waited quietly for the judgment of his God. Step forward now, you soldier. You've borne your burdens well. Walk peacefully on heaven's streets. You've done your time in hell. This is by an author unknown. Thank you all. My name is Whitney and I'm the co-president of the Four Troops Club at Hereford High School. We would like to give a special thanks to the families of the fallen heroes who have given the ultimate sacrifice, the veterans in our community, and the active military who are bravely serving our country. I would like to thank the Hope and Peace Foundation for the 9-11 Rolling Memorial and for the Blessed Memories Dove release for the Doves in Flight. Our club is also incredibly grateful for the help from Mrs. Aiken and Mr. Greenwood and the Hereford administration for allowing us to do this event, especially under the restrictions we are all abiding by, and for their continued support. We now more than ever need to remember the true meaning of and reflection of Memorial Day in our country. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and God bless America.